Hartford men's basketball needs a new coach because John Gallagher has resigned. He took over the program back in April 16, 20, 2010. It's he's he's not happy with the the board of regents and allegedly take misleading the information regarding the move to division three because of the budget cuts. He's citing budget cuts and safety concerns. And I actually heard the guy on Sikkim three sixty five radio, with AKA three sixty five sports. The year that Baylor won the national championship, I love his energy. I love the personality. He's a good guy. The resignation won't end the Division One to Division Three, which became known back in April 2021. The last draw for Gallagher was was the school's decision not to send an athletic director with his team for a close scrimmage at Dartmouth last week, he said. One player sustained a knee, in, knee injury, and Gallagher asserts that did not receive sufficient care. He also wrote, the school allegedly denied a, a credit card application used by the, by the director of operations to buy meals for the team at road games without out an alternative plan. I, he has communicated on this numerous occasions and consistently and repeatedly to the, where the where player safety and well-being was being jeopardized. And that he that's something he cannot tolerate. So if he's 45 years old, he's 169 in 2007, but he did he reached a final uh, the American East in that uh, COVID 2019-2020 uh, before a season shut down then won the conference NCAA tournament bid and of course they lost to Baylor in the round of 64 but that was the first win for Baylor to get to the national championship so there's a lot of issues here I mean I just want to go over that because it's just really recent news because now they're going to have to find a new head coach. I hope for John Gallagher, he finds somewhere that doesn't go downgrade. Because he deserves to be a head coach at a Division I school. He deserves it. He's worked so hard. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. That's going to be the 400 subscribers and more by the end of this year or sometime in the future. Or down the line, of course. After 400, let's get it up to more, of course. 